Creating Connections, episode 45. I am... <laughs> Did you want to be the certified personality trainer yeah. today? It sounded like that's where you were going. Uh, Creating Connections, podcast, episode 45. I'm Gittimer Certified Advisor, Mitch Taylor. And I'm Certified Personality Trainer, Vicki Massey. Yes, uh, for a second there, I got tongue-tied. It, uh, <laughs> it is what it is. So today on the podcast, episode 45, we are talking about our new book, Creating Connections, 31 Days to Building Stronger and Deeper Relationships. And we have a lot of people to thank, don't we? We do. We do. It's yeah. been such a fun process, but we couldn't do it without the people that we're connected to, the people that inspired us, encouraged us, helped us, edited for us. Yes. So many helping hands along the way. Yeah. Uh, let's... Take a quick walk through the book, at least first, uh, from a standpoint of what you, as our listeners, as you have inspired us. So thank you for what you have given us uh, on this journey. Uh, week one, you want to tell them what week one is, Vicki? Yeah. Well, back up just a second, because, okay. yeah, the reason it's a 31-day guide, the idea is there's one concept for each day with an action step. So it's not the kind of book that we want you to just sit down and read in an hour or two, just read it straight through. It's more it's it's more of a workbook. It really is a guide. We want you to just read that one chapter, focus on that one thing, try to apply it by doing the action step and then build on it the following day. Yeah. So this isn't a book, as Vicki said, you're going to read through in like two hours. I, ideally, it's you, know, you get up in the morning, you're looking for that motivation, mm -hmm. what's going to really propel you through the day to grow beyond where you are currently and create mm -hmm. deeper, stronger connections. This is your Bible. This is your guide. Pick it up, read one chapter a day, work on the action steps that are in that chapter, and watch yourself grow in your connections. So week one. Week one, the focus is on building connections with people that are new to you, people that you just meet either by happenstance, like the stories I've shared about people I meet on airplanes, or people that you're meeting at networking meetings or guests at your events, things like that. Just when you first meet a new connection, what are some things that you can consciously do to start creating a stronger connection right from the get-go? So the seven days of focused content to work on creating new connections in your life, in your business life, in your personal life, and then week two, we delve into how to create connections with your clients, right? Uh, people, sometimes people look at the monetary side of things, and mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with that, right? But that's, that's where that comes into play. It's a good gauge of growth and health <laughs> for Ab a business. Absolutely. So, so creating connections with your clients, uh, it is not about the money as much as it is about that deep, strong connection you can create. So there's a full seven days worth of content and additional bonus content that you can get if you read the book. Uh, You're telling also, them about the bonus content? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's more stuff we didn't even fit in the book. You have to go to the website to get it. Yeah. <laughs> Week three. Week three is about connecting with colleagues. And I think if this is true to a degree in every industry, but it's particularly true for those of us in the wedding industry and events, we don't work events alone. Right. Every time we get there, whatever your role is, whether you're the MC, the DJ, the minister, there's still going, even if you play all three of those roles, yeah. there's still going to be other people there. There's going to be photographers and video people and planners and catering and banquet staff and, you know, florists and cake delivery people and yeah. all kinds of things. So in this industry, even more so than any other, I think that colleague to colleague, peer to peer connection is so important. That and because we are constantly needing new referrals. You know, it's not Absolutely. like in some industries, like my hairstylist, you know, when she got me as a client, she's got me for life. I am in there, you know, every three and a half weeks, no matter what. And You don't have gray hair, do you? Industry, no, not right now. <laughs> Thanks to Melissa. Yeah, me neither. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> but... But in the weddings industry, we're constantly looking for for new clients and those referrals. And so those peer-to-peer -peer relationships are just pivotal to growth. But they're also important. I think that's part of what makes us enjoy our job is working yeah. with people that we love to work with. And when you have those, those power partners and those people that you just love to work with, that 
just makes it more enjoyable and a better outcome for everybody. Absolutely. So spend a whole week focusing on, on those peer-to-peer -peer connections. And finally, week four, we delve into how you can create deeper, stronger connections within your community. And we share different tips and strategies to be able to help you with that as well. Because that can also be a garden of referrals for you that you can cultivate if you work hard and just get involved and give back to your community. Yeah, so important. And I just found a brand new uh, insurance agent of mine that I'm going to be bringing uh -huh. on based upon getting involved in my community and giving back to Delta Force. Cool. Uh, we've talked about on on a podcast in the past. And, and, and you talk so, about Delta Force in the book, too. We talk about Delta Force in the yeah. book, absolutely. And so, yeah, cre creating connections in the community is so important, and it's important to be deeply cool. rooted in your community. And we talk about different ways you can do that as well. And there's bonus content and action steps there as well. Mm-hmm. And, and if you're doing the math with us, I don't, don't spoil it, know. but they can know that there's 28 days in four weeks and we've given them a 31 day guide. Yes. So yes, there's more. If you want the last three days, you'll have to pick up the book. You can get the book at our website, creatingconnections.biz mm -hmm. is where you can pick up your copy of the book. We're excited to get copies of the book in our hands here very, very soon. Yes. Let's thank the people that truly helped make this possible. Um, Without them, <laughs> this book wouldn't exist. No. First no. off, I need to stop you because I want to thank you, Vicki. Uh, without you, this book really is the brainchild of Vicki, even though I wrote most of it. <laughs> That's not true either. <laughs> uh, no, seriously. Though. I knew you started to say something really nice about the end video, and I knew, <laughs> You're like, I knew it was coming. Last I can too see long. it <laughs> Uh, no, but seriously, thank you, Vicki. Vicki had a great outline idea for the book, uh, and we collaborated together on the content for the book and painstaking hours, and I think I took one day off between Christmas and New Year's. That well, because was... I dared you to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want your family to hate me. <laughs> well, we had a crazy timeline. I yeah. think it was October when I first said, hey, I've got yeah. this idea. And then I think we worked on the outline when we were in New York for the uh, event in Saratoga yeah. Springs. And then we really started writing, I think, on our way to the Wedding and Event Professionals cruise. Yeah, we started. On our with our spouses in Long Beach is kind of when we actually started really putting chapters together. Yeah, I had written a chapter before that or in between, around Albany time or a little between yeah. Albany and, yeah, but yeah, yeah. really kind of. Right, November. So, and that's part of the good part of two reds working together is that when we are focused on the same thing, we can, you know, get stuff together and make it happen. But and it was, it was out. a really fun process. And I think it all really did just stem from the conversations that we've had doing this podcast yes. and the, the themes that have come up with the people that, you know, we we're interacting with, um, in our live events as well as on social media and that have responded to podcast episodes. And it was more of a just a, Hey, how can we share our passion for creating connections with people, with more people. Yeah. And, and that wouldn't be possible without Aspen. Aspen is our yeah. publisher. Uh, Aspen Kuhlman from So-and-So Publishing in Reno. And uh, without Aspen, you wouldn't have a copy in your hands of Sales for oh. Event Pros. You wouldn't have Vicky's books, Personalities for Business and Personalities for Educators. And Vicky's workbook. She did your as well. book as well. Yeah, Sales for Event Pros. She did yeah. Sales for Event Pros. So, At the same time as one of my books came out, yeah. she was working on those simultaneously so for thank us. Thank you, Aspen, yes. for all of your hard work on this and guiding us in the process. Multiple changes at the last minute and all of those fun things. I, next, I want to thank Anna Janine Kemper Herman of Akron, yes. Ohio. And uh, Anna Janine has a company called Something New Entertainment. and she is amazing at attention to detail and mm -hmm. taking on projects. And we essentially gave this book to her uh, and pretty much asked her to proof it. And the only time yeah. she had really was between Christmas and New Year's. Mm -hmm. And then she got sick. And, and her so, family got sick. And, you yeah. know, and she did it anyways. Yeah, she still thank helped you, out. Anna Anna Jeanine. Jeanine, thank you. Uh, we it does. It's one of those things when you write something, you see what you meant, not what's there. And it's so important to have those extra eyes constantly 
rereading it and pointing stuff out and helping me fix things. So Anna Janine did that first. And then Allison also. Yes. Uh, I, I my, still owe her a couple of drinks, I you, think. You do, actually. <laughs> Uh, my rock star office 19. manager here at Tailored Weddings, uh, Allison Farley. She went through the book, fine tooth combed it, went through things. She found some things and absolutely helped to shape and mold some of the content a little more, uh, which was great to have that extra pair of eyes to take a look at things. And I really appreciate her hard work. Kind of mm -hmm. just setting all else aside and then jumping on it for me and, you know, and it was a really quick, hey, I need you to do this, and we need it right now. Yeah. And um, and she's just, yeah, she was just great. And very detailed and easy yeah. to communicate with. Definitely will be going to both of them for future projects. <laughs> Mike Walter, I want to thank Mike. Frankly, Tailored Weddings would not be where it's at today without Mike Walter. And we talk about that in the book a little bit. I, I know I talk about it in the book a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but Mike, so graciously, uh, we contacted him when he was in Iceland with his wife, Kelly. And yes. And <laughs> they were on the way back from Iceland and said, hey, would you mind doing the forward for our new book? Oh. And Again, Mike, crazy timing. Holidays yeah. and travel. And I don't know, it just goes to show you how important those connections are. Absolutely. I mean, he's helped both of us so much yes, in our businesses. Has. And, you know, listening to you say tailored weddings wouldn't be where it is. I don't think... The DJ industry as we know it would be where oh, it is I without it. his influence. No. And um, and there's there's a there's several people I could name, but but Mike is just amazing and what he brings and how he shares who he is and what he knows with so many people. And to have him agree to to do this it meant the world to me. So thank you, yeah. Mike. Yes, Mike, thank you so much and thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to read through our books and uh, we're looking forward to uh, working with you more possibly in the future. And, and again, I just can't thank you enough for your mentorship and your help. Yeah. Uh, and finally, we need to thank Brian Kramer. My friend Brian. Brian is a childhood friend of mine from elementary, middle school, high school, way back um, when in, in San Jose, where I grew up. He still lives there. And we reconnected a couple years ago, went and grabbed coffee, and uh, stayed in touch. And since then, I've watched him write and publish a couple of books. Um, go on to do a fantastic uh, TED Talk mm -hmm. and just his passion for what he calls the human to human. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's our version of creating connections. Yeah. But I just knew if I'm looking for someone to read this project over and basically give us the, yeah, you're on the right track. This is a good message. Let's get this word out there. He was the one I wanted to go to because I know that is something that he is passionate about yeah. and just that idea that yes technology is great and we can leverage that to you know help connect better but people want to do business with people and uh, and brian gets that and so so grateful for him to uh, read that over and uh, and kind of give us his uh, seal of approval on that well, I, I love his message because in today's society we're all focused on b2b and b2c mm -hmm. and brian just goes no stop it, it's it's H to H, H, H. It's human mm -hmm. to human. Yep. And it's, it's creating that connection between people. And so crucial, so crucial. And mm -hmm. thank you, Brian, for giving us yeah. a quote for the front cover of the book. Uh, we greatly, greatly appreciate it. Yeah. And so, again, it goes back to you. This wouldn't be possible without you. You helping us greatly, mm -hmm. uh, inspiring us to deliver this content, yep. create this content. And finally... We have to say thank you to our families. Yes. Um, my wife, Michelle, and my kids, mm -hmm. Hunter and Kendall, they have put up with endless Skype sessions of <laughs> Vicki and I together, uh, working on the book. My kids, too, and, and my husband, Craig. And there's been times when I'll be like, okay, everybody get off the internet. It's too slow for my Skype call. <laughs> go away. Go hide in your room. Go take the dog for a walk. Oh, get out of here. That is and then so there were true. Other days where we were editing and we were like Skyping in the office like yeah. four or five hours straight. And kids would come and go. My husband would come and go. He'd come home and be like, oh, hey, hi, Mitch. How you doing? You know, and just kind of go do his thing. Cause yeah. Just you, they knew we had a deadline and we yeah. had to get stuff done. And 
So yeah, thank you to you guys for keeping a sense of humor through all of the crazy schedules and the uh, just yeah, the, the focus it, that we had to had to give during the holidays. It's hard being married to a red. Uh huh. And I mean, not that I would know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your husband's not a red. Yeah, Craig could tell you how hard it is to be married mm -hmm. to a red. <laughs> yes, Craig could tell you how hard it is. I'm sure my wife could tell you mm -hmm. how hard it is being married to a red. You're even more red than I am. I no, I'm not. I'm more black than you are. Oh, <laughs> you froze. You froze. Um, okay, I'll cut okay. that. We'll pick it up. <laughs> Ready? Sure. No, I'm not. I'm more black than you are. Anyway. I could change that, but no, <laughs> <laughs> that's not happening. We're very excited to bring this book on tour. If you see us speaking out and about, uh, we're going to be in Tampa coming up here. We're going to also be in Phoenix and Minneapolis and Las Vegas <laughs> for Mobile Beat. And, so excited! Yeah, and there's rumors of uh, East Coast appearance later this year and a Dallas appearance later this year. I'm going to be up in your neighborhood, even without you. Yes, you're going to be in Milwaukee live too. <laughs> yes. In Milwaukee for Midwest DJs Live coming up in April. So uh, lots of different opportunities to get your hands on a copy of the book. Again, you can order on our website, creatingconnections.biz. And we just want to thank you again for being a viewer, uh, yes, subscribing to our podcast, and inspiring us. I'm Gittimer Certified Advisor, Mitch Taylor. And I'm Certified Personality Trainer, Vicki Musney. We will see you next time. Thank you. Take care.